Hi, welcome back to my second channel. <laughs> Today, we're on reddit.com slash r slash Cody Co. Checking out some stuff. First things first, Cody Co. calls everyone the B word in new leaked song. I do, I do have a song that I made relatively recently that, um, how meta is this by the way? Watching footage from my last Reddit video where I'm on Reddit. Sick! Did the first little bit. 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 That's all I'm gonna give you. So, um... <laughs> Holy fuck! That was sick! I should just release that as the song. Damn, way to go! Who made that vague sounds? That absolutely bumped. I'm gonna toss that a little like right there. Bow! There you go, dude. Don't mention it, vague sounds. That kind of slapped. By the way, uh, just a quick update. We're at 131,000 Chosers, so... That's pretty damn good. Compiling all clips of Cody falling for Malone Brown jokes. Here's an idea. Don't do that. You don't have to. So don't worry, don't don't worry about it. No, no, don't mention it. No, seriously, don't worry about it. Let me take that off your plate. I'll take care of that. And uh, you don't have to worry about doing that. So yeah, just, you know, relax, take a load off. Don't worry about compiling. I don't want you to, you're busy already with other stuff. I don't want you to, you know, get too mucked up with this stuff. So just listen, you go, do your thing. Don't worry about doing that and don't do it, okay? Great. Does anyone else miss Cody's long hair? It truly fit the surfer look and makes him look younger. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and disagree with you on the younger thing. I think that if anything, it made me look much older, but um, it's kind of funny that someone posted this because just yesterday, Kelsey was like, I just saw a picture of you with long hair. <laughs> like it came up in her memories or whatever. And she was like, I, I like you a lot better like this. <laughs> and I was like, what the fuck? Well, this because of that, I'm gonna grow it out again. No, I'm not. I think I'm I think I'm sticking with this for the time being. You know what? Somebody told me when I was thinking about cutting my hair. I said I said it in one of these videos and they were like, "Dude, but just be just just no, man, it'll never sit the same." And that was like always a little bit ominous to me. I was like, "What the fuck it, what kind of a warning is that?" Like it it freaked me out for some reason. Your hair will never sit the same. What does that mean? Sit the same. But here's the thing. He was right. It's true. I used to have this effortless part sort of right here. My hair would just kind of like, just kind of like sag over to the side naturally, right? Now, because my hair's been long for so long and it's parted in the middle, if I don't like constantly try and do this, I eventually end up with this. My hair just wants to do this. Look at it from the side. Is that good? Is that a cool style? What do you think of that? It's cool, right? It's cool. No, it's not fucking cool. But it'll never sit the same. It sits like this now. This is how it sits. He was fucking right. And I'm trying to retrain my hair to sit the other way, but it keeps sitting like this. It's manspreading. That's what it's doing. You know? I want it to sit. <laughs> Sorry, Joey. I want it to sit like this, like a gentleman. But it's sitting like this. That's how it's sitting. <sighs> he was right. He was right. <laughs> Would you give him $4? This man gucci down to the socks but need $4. <laughs> oh man. I won't lie, Cody's fit goes hard. His style has been great lately. Okay, thank you. Okay, can I, can I fucking describe what this was, okay? So last week, I got invited to go to the Dior fashion show in Venice. I don't know how they pulled this shit off. They had, it was under the Venice sign. It's like one of the main streets in Venice. There's restaurants there, there's there's shops, and they closed the whole thing down and built this crazy runway and had a fashion show there. And I got invited, and I know there's this, there's this whole joke about how I'm so LA now on the podcast and whatnot. And I know that this is not helping that cause, but I gotta say, it was one of the coolest things ever. I like fashion, I'm not really good at it, but I like it and I appreciate it. So to be there, at an actual, one of the coolest brands in the world, at their fashion show, 
was an honor, truly. Tony Hawk was, I saw fucking Tony Hawk there. It's like the only time in my life I've been legitimately starstruck. He walked by and I was like, I blah, I blah. That's Tony, Tony Hawk, Tony Ha. Tony Ha, Ha, just Tony Ha. That's, that's what I did. Fucking Michael B. Jordan was there. I mean, now I'm just name dropping celebrities. I understand that, but come on, you would be freaking out. If you were in this, like, standing beside Michael B. Jordan, you'd be fucking freaking out. And don't even say you wouldn't be. Anyways, okay, so you get there, right? And the first thing that you do is take a photo in front of the photo wall like this, right? And there's, like, a line of people. And, like, the really important celebrities are kind of, like, cutting and getting their picture taken. And the photographers are going fucking nuts, right? Like, uh, who was in front of me? Christina... God damn it, who was it? Some some actress, some big actress. She was in front of me, and she goes, and the camera's like, Christina, look over here! <laughs> look like a rave, right? Just flashes everywhere. And then she like moved in front of the next group and they were all and then like Lil Huddy went in front of me and he's just, you know, like these kids are built for this shit, you know? They've been doing it for the last five years. Like a photo wall is their shit. I am not. I don't know what I'm doing when it comes to this stuff. I was nervous. See Lil Huddy go up there and he's like, yeah, and I was like, Lil Huddy. And then I walk up and all the photographers are like, I guess I'll, uh, yeah, good you. And they're like, what's your name? And I was like, Cody Ko. And they were like, what is it? Cody Ko. Okay. And I'm standing there, like, gripping the bag. Look at how hard I'm gripping the fucking bag. Because I'm just like, do I look cool? Please, please, just make it seem like I belong here. Please, please. I'm shaking, grabbing this fucking man bag, which I've never worn before in my entire life. Anyways, here's here's the better photo of me. Okay, and 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 by the way, people in my DMs, you know, I was getting roasted. Listen, I make fun of shit, so I get it. I invite people to make fun of me. So people are in the DMs, you know, like, what is, the, what are these shoes? What are these pants? It's fucking Dior, all right. <laughs> they dressed me. I didn't dress myself. They dressed me. They gave me all this stuff. I was like, just honored to have it on my body, honestly. Like I said, I I I, I trust their opinion about fashion way more than my own. So I was like, yeah, I'll wear this. And I felt fucking cool, honestly, I did. With the man bag, just, well, I got my wallet in there. Before the show, I was like, Kelsey, what do I what do I do with this? And she was like, put your shit in it. And I was like, oh, so my wallet and my keys can just, huh. Okay, I see, I see what the deal with purses is now. Call me Percy. So anyways, the show is really cool. I never really understood fashion shows, but I get them now, I get it now. I do, it was really cool. Just shout out to everyone, shout out to the people that invited me, uh, shout out to Dior, and uh, it was a really good time, so thank you. Unfortunately, I have to give the clothes back though. I just got the UPS shipping label. They were like, send them back immediately. And I was like, okay, are you sure? What about the what about the bag? They're like, no, especially the bag, send that shit back. So anyways, thank you to everyone who invited me, I appreciate it, it was a really cool thing to uh, be there, so thank you. That's the story, Cody! Cody! Don't stop making cut and jubilee videos. I know Cody is getting hate and people are getting tired of the same kind of video, but my boyfriend and I love these videos and hope he keeps posting them along with others because I would be so sad if he stopped posting those. I will, I definitely will. I like filming them and also people come up to me in public sometime and they're like, I really like the jubilee videos. And I'm like, fucking no shit, really? Thank you. So I'll keep doing those. I just meant like, like thinking about my content more. Like maybe I'll keep doing those and just maybe they'll go on another channel or something like that, you know? So you can still expect those, just not maybe not as often. My cat loves Cody too. Yo, shout out to your cat. I'm gonna guess his name right now. Lettuce. That's that cat's name. Shout out to Lettuce. Appreciate your cat. Kelsey really wants to get a cat. I don't really want to get a cat because I'm like, listen, we got a good thing going on, you know? Every time you like add a new person to the family, it kind of, you know, you're taking a little bit of a risk. It's like, we got a good thing going on. We really do. Chili's like the best, best behaved dog ever. Look at him. He's a fucking absolute legend, this guy. He was sleeping. Oh, he's pissed. He's a legend. What would happen if we got a cat and it like, you know, was a little brat? I think I'd still love it. Maybe I will get one. Don't tell her. Don't tell her I said that. Someone tell Cody to change the bio of TMG Studios. Ah, we will. Thank you. Cody's standing in videos? Am I crazy? I usually watch Cody's video at night after smoking the devil's lettuce, so this could be totally in my mind, but seeing Cody stand in his videos gives me the feeling of going to a different Target or Walmart that isn't your own. <laughs> what? Like, <laughs> like this feels familiar, but I am lost. That is so weirdly specific, but I know what you mean. That's funny. I stand because it, it, 
helps me uh, with the energy, honestly. I also forget. Uh, I also forget what I was gonna say. What was I just talking about? Oh yeah, I also work standing up now. It's funny because I never did that when I worked in tech, and that's the most tech employee thing to do ever is work at a stand-up desk. And now that I work as a creative, now I choose to do it. But it really helps, honestly. I like standing. And like when I play music, I can just dance. I'm already standing, so it's like dancing is just, it's an easy next step, you know? Just fucking, ooh, I might, I might pull some of this. You know, I might, ooh, ooh. Just like that, you know? For example, the, the first little bit. That's all I'm gonna give you. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. It's a little bit. And we're gonna end with this question. Why do Cody and Noel talk about squirting so much on the podcast? Because it's funny. Bye. <laughs>